heart of love, a heart of forgiveness. And this is it. We must all allow ourselves to imbibe and to take in Jesus that we follow his love so much, a heart that was wounded, yet forgives. For the times we have not imitated Christ enough in our daily, for the times we have not been loving, forgiving enough, let us call to mind our sins and ask God for pardon. A reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses said to the people, You are a people sacred to the Lord your God. He has chosen you from all the nations on the face of the earth to be a people peculiarly his own. It was not because you are the largest of all nations that the Lord set his heart on you and chose you, for you were really the smallest of all nations. It was because the Lord loved you and because of his fidelity to the oath he had sworn to your fathers that he brought you out with his strong hand from the place of slavery and ransomed you from the hand of the Pharaoh, king of Egypt. Understand then that the Lord your God is God indeed the faithful God who keeps his merciful covenant down to the thousandth generation toward those who love him and keep his commandments, but who repays with destruction a person who hates him. He does not dally with such a one, but makes them personally pay for it. You shall therefore carefully observe the commandments, the statutes, and the decrees that I enjoin on you today. The word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be to to God. God. The Lord's kindness is everlasting to those who fear him. The The Lord's Lord's kindness kindness is everlasting everlasting to those who fear him. him. Bless the Lord, O my soul, 
all my being. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. The Lord's Lord's kindness is everlasting to those who fear him. He pardons all your iniquities, heals all your ills. He redeems your life from destruction, crowns you with a kindness and compassion. The Lord's kindness is everlasting to those who fear him. Merciful and gracious is the Lord, slow to anger and abounding in kindness, nor does he requite us according to our crimes. Nor uh, The Lord's kindness Amen. is everlasting to those who fear him. The second reading is a reading from the letter of John. Beloved, Let us love one another because love is of God. Everyone who loves is begotten by God and knows God. Whoever is without love does not know God, for God is love. In this way, the love of God was revealed to us. God sent his only son into the world so that we might have life through him. In this is love. Not that we have loved God, but that he has loved us and sent his son as expiation for our sins. Beloved, if God so loved us, we must also love one another. No one has ever seen God, yet if we love one another, God remains in us and his love is brought to perfection in us. This is how we know that we remain in him, and he is in us, that he has given us of his spirit. Moreover, we have seen and testify that the Father sent his Son as Savior of the world. Whoever acknowledges that Jesus is the Son of God, God remains in him, and he is in God. We have come to know and to believe in the love God has for us. God is love, and whoever remains in love remains in God, and God in him. The word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be be to to God. God. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Take my yoke upon you, says the Lord, and learn from me, for I am meek and humble of heart. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory be to you, O Lord. At that time, Jesus exclaimed, I give praise to you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, for although you have hidden these things from the wise and the learned, you have revealed them to little ones. Yes, Father, such has been your gracious will. All things have been handed over to me by my Father, No one knows the Son except the Father, and no one knows the Father except the Son, and anyone to whom the Son wishes to reveal him. Come to me, all you who labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am meek and humble of heart, and you will find rest for yourselves. For my yoke is easy, and my body light. The gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, baby. Once again, good morning to you all, wherever you're watching from. Today we celebrate the solemnity of the most sacred heart of Jesus. 
in art which Jesus describes as gentle and lowly. And this is what the gospel passage of today emphasizes for all of us. Jesus is rejoicing and offering thanksgiving to God the Father for the successes recorded by the 12 apostles he sent out for evangelization. Do you know why Jesus sent them out? In Matthew 9.34, we read, When Jesus saw the crowd, he had compassion for them because they were harassed and helpless, like sheep without a shepherd. So Jesus felt compassion for the crowds. Jesus feels compassion because he has a heart that is gentle and lowly. It gets even better, apart from merely feeling for us, Jesus is always ready with a solution for us. Like in the feeding of the multitude, Jesus is not a person who simply says sorry and walk away. Jesus sent out the twelve, and when they returned with good news, Jesus was overjoyed. So dear friends, the truth is that as Jesus felt for these crowds, he continues to feel for us today. He knows that we will be more and more in need of his help as a crowd. So this is why Jesus said, come to me, all you will labor and are heaven laden, and I will give you rest. Dear friends, are you troubled right now? Are you disturbed, confused, dejected, angry, helpless, hopeless? Jesus is saying to you today, come to me. I know what you are going through, and I have the solution. God alone has the answers to all our challenges. As Moses says to us in today's first reading, he is a faithful God who keeps covenant and steadfast love for those who love him and keep his commandments. So God will do his part. We are to do our part. We must learn to obey. So apart from simply coming to him, Jesus wants us to take his yoke and learn from him. In a world where we have a place when people think it is when they are mighty that they are always right. A world where people would rather have their way by violence. Jesus wants us to learn from his own simplicity. In simplicity, charity I follow. In simplicity, Charity I follow. In simplicity and charity, we must follow Christ. Like a sunflower. Like a sunflower that follows every moment of the sun. So I turn towards you to follow you, my God. To follow God, to follow Christ, we need that simplicity of heart. The gentleness and lowliness. So, dear friends, learning from Jesus entails learning to forgive others as well. This is the yoke that we have to bear. But as Jesus says, it is easier than we think, and it is the key for finding rest for our souls. As St. John tells us today in the second reading, let us love one another, including those who hate us. For he who does not love does not know God, because God is love. God is love. And he who abides in God, abides in love, and God in him. God is love. So loving others is a natural implication of knowing God. If you have never loved, you would never know how God feels towards you. So dear friends, as we celebrate the sacred heart of Jesus today, open your heart once again to the gentleness of Christ to the simplicity of Christ, to the forgiveness of Christ, so that as we do that, we can also translate the same to our brothers and our sisters around us. We pray today, as we celebrate the most sacred heart of Jesus, that Christ himself will come into our soul, make our hearts soft and gentle like his. Jesus, make an humble of heart, make my heart like unto thee. Amen. Let us pray. Let us pray for the leaders of the church, Apo Francis, Abishan Michael, all the priests, deacons, and religious, that we may continually find peace in the love of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. 
for all those who find it difficult to forgive, those who have been hurt by life, those who have made up their minds not to accommodate others anymore because of the hurt they have received in life. We pray that the gentleness of Christ, the loving heart of Christ will penetrate their heart today and grant them that joy and compassion. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For all the earth workers, for all those affected by this pandemic, for all the scientific personnel who work on solutions, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For the heart of forgiveness in our world today, for peace, for hand to violence, that Christ himself we continue to touch every heart and make our heart like unto thee. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For the happy repose of the soul of Bobby Jones, for whom this Mass is offered, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Please pray for your intentions. Most sacred heart of Jesus, have mercy on us. Most sacred heart of Jesus, have mercy on us. Most sacred heart of Jesus, have mercy on us. Jesus, make an humble of heart, make our heart like unto thee. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and welcome from your hands it to become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, and welcome from your hands it to become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, dear friends, that your sacrifice and mine may be acceptable to God, your mighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Look, O Lord, we pray on this surpassing charity in the hearts of your beloved Son, that what we offer may be a gift acceptable to you and an expiation of our offenses through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is to the right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For raised up high on the cross, he gave himself up for us with a wonderful love and pour out blood and water from his pierced side, the well spring of the church's sacrament, so that one over to the open heart of the Savior, all might draw water joyfully from the springs of salvation. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of our holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift to pray by sending down your spirits upon them like they do for, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, gave thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take these, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks you have heard us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring us to the fullness of charity, together Francis, our Pope, and Michael, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also your servant, Bobby Jones, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that he who was united with your son in a dead like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, we bless Joseph as spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints, John behind him, who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may marry to be coherent to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the whole Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on health as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, we say to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your way. We live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always and with your spirit. Please offer each other the sign of peace. Peace of Christ be with you. Peace of Christ be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold, the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. In the body and blood of Christ, keep us safe for eternal life.
Let us pray. May these sacraments of charity, O Lord, make us fervent with the fire of holy love, so that drawn always to your Son, we may learn to see him in our neighbor, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Once again, thank you for joining us this morning, and happy feast day to all of us as we celebrate the heart, sacred heart of Jesus today. Let us learn to live through the heart of Christ. So we pray today, Lord Jesus, meek and humble of heart, make our hearts like unto thee. Amen. Have a blessed day and do have a wonderful celebration. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. And may mighty God bless and keep you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth to love and serve the Lord. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Thanks for watching and thanks for staying with us. Have a blessed day.